Hey everybody, it's Monday morning. I had a scrap pickup. I had a call there on Sunday night. Uh, this is what I got. I got a barbecue, a couple irons, a good some sort of grill, some sort of stereo, a heater. Uh, let me get to the side. He told me that he had uh, a lot more other things from relatives and stuff. He gave me a brand new hard hat, never used. Brand new steel toe rubber boots. So they're basically brand new and then a uh, bunch of doorknobs so then end up being here in this pile here it looks like a couple laptops so computer parts you said so that's pretty complete laptop there just um that's probably the battery for the laptop and then uh some fans heat sink here some sort of computer accessory again it's like two Dell laptops this one the back is there so it's pretty complete which is good okay okay that's pretty well it that's the pickup I did here so uh, uh, we're going to the part building now we got to clean a boiler room out and then take a bunch of scrap metal of the building so stay tuned clean up uh, all this Material fridge has got to go anything combustible uh, new owners of the building. It's got to be all taken care of all paint cans go All wood and debris whatever that's around the spoiler everything's got to be cleaned So we're gonna go through a proper cleanup all paint cans Where it took about 100 cans out of the uh, storage area Locker area, so we're gonna continue now Any treasures here? We'll show you some video, but otherwise we'll see you know, like there's most of the stuff is just junk like 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 who keeps stuff like this you know it's just been sitting too long there's a lot of outdated stuff like stone piece like that you know this is come on these are like landlords that keep stuff forever okay so we're gonna come in here and take care of everything okay there's the yeah, switch panel here yeah. that so these, are, these are all copper building. copper sheets here so okay. what we're gonna do is we're gonna i'm gonna salvage this with the copper but look at that isn't that awesome there original breakers for this building that's a copper bar these all copper each one and the switch here could even have a piece of uh silver contact possibly i don't know hard to say some do some maybe not but we'll see okay good find man okay we'll take that later yeah. near kids line kids beach area Here's uh, Kitts Beach location, beautiful area, uh, North Shore Mountains, really beautiful view here. It's one of those uh, picture perfect views, almost uh, glossy clear water, just you know, not many waves, just beautiful. There's your North Vancouver Mountains there, a big uh, forest area, Stanley Park. We're not roughly, I think we're near Vine in First Avenue area. Just a beautiful location here. And then there's all sorts of uh, summertime, there's restaurants along the uh, outer edge. There's a, a pretty good pub here. Uh, kind of a, almost like a British, British kind of pub. It is basically called King's Heads Pub. King Heads Pub is pretty cool. They uh, usually have a live band on the weekend. I know my buddy, uh, he plays here once in a while. But it's just a beautiful location here, especially summertime. Just get around this corner here a little bit more. Uh, you can see all the little sailboats in the harbor type thing there. A little bit of traffic here, so give us a few more seconds to enjoy the view. Okay, that's called Kitts Beach right there. And there's a pool right here, summertime, it's open there for a swimming. A really old beach, goes back to at least. 1890s but that was a popular beach already then uh, a lot of old stuff gets found along the water there from l and stuff is pretty good Stanley Park is good for treasure hunting but um, if you get caught on the grass there they find you now so it's banned for bell tecting but it was an old really old old, old park there for treasure hunting uh, you can sometimes hunt the woods there you know but even that's getting pretty tough nowadays but anyways uh, we're getting like say we're gonna dump these paint cans here I got probably about 150 paint cans I would think just want to show you a little bit of my scenery here okay stay Ball tuned depot salt, salt van bottle depot I want to show you there's a bottle guy he must have went through all those recycling bins look at his car here one second here 
on the hood. You can see that. It's just like packed. Back seat, front seat. Mr. Bottle Man. Okay, I'll show you the inside. There's my cans here. You can see them. A lot of cans. Okay. Okay, they got me. Bucket here, so it makes it easier. Them by cans, huh? Wow. Here's a here's the e-waste. Can you pull the computers? Hmm. TV sets here. Big old Sony. And this one is uh that one there. Not a huge one. So these are things here, paint cans, aerosol, flammables, poisons, pesticides, just everything. Not accepted, painted glass containers, traffic marking paint, aerosol, craft paints, not aerosol, okay. And here is, uh, holy, oh, someone even put a piano here, microwaves. Okay, time to get back. Came out of the boiler room. All this here so far, and this and a little bit out of the uh, um, laundry area. We get a full load as much as we can, and then we'll come back and take the metal. Okay, stay tuned. Oh. These pillars came out. Look at that beautiful pillar. There's four of them. We're gonna save them. We'll put them back in there and save them for now. Okay, we're starting uh, piles here. Uh, more copper uh, contacts. These are probably a fuse panel or something. More copper, copper contacts here. It's all copper here. So we're just gonna systematically go through here, clean everything up. It's just, just, just old cement stuff and junk that never used again. All gotta go in the garbage. You know, that's with these old landlords. They uh, take these buildings where they lived here for the last 40 years and they just kept everything. So now, like, stuff's gotta go. Okay, we're just gonna put some of the stuff that we're taking out of the way okay <laughs> this is us to go to we're just gonna go okay stay tuned to how much materials in this boiler room you don't really see it but it's quite a bit here uh, lots of wood. We're taking this out completely. That top shelf, I'll leave that shelf in. Leave, leave this 
shelf too. Leave it all completely, I guess, for now. But look at this, just old floor tiles, toilet tops, just screen lit, screens for windows, stuff they never use and probably never use again. So light bulbs, come on. Let's give it to him. There's anything in here. The furniture that really has no purpose because there's nothing in it. That's heavy, heavy stuff here. See if we can drag that one out. This is heavy as hell. Smash it kind of here so we keep all the garbage in one spot. Yeah. Why don't you take the side, sides off? Can you take the sides off? Or lay it down side, like on its back. Yeah. And then it's easier just to smash it apart. Oh. Yeah, just bend that door over. because he's heavily built and then the side will have to come out the corner yeah. so this doesn't help having a crappy hammer let's watch the whole tank yeah. I think he's just got to nick, spread it out. Okay, probably need a bigger hammer or something. It's not my stuff here. 101 Nights of Great Sex. Lower corn. It just says like dangerous when wet. What will be $300, please? So that will be 300 okay. She's out of control. Hot lips. And here's one about... Uh, Cosmo, Karma, Possessions. You got some books? You never know what you find in these places, I'll tell you. I need the sex one. Sex the, manual. the janitor, you can have that one. I know what kind of pieces here? Looks like, uh, look at the yeah. system, sort of like a fuse system here. Took it out of the fuse box. But it's all copper here. Might be hard to get out because they actually epoxied. Well, what do you get hammer? Hammer the slate apart. With the test it to make sure it's slate or... Not asbestos, but anyways, it's looking okay. uh, quite a bit better. Gonna take like say start taking shelves off, but there's screws in there and I can't get the screws out. It's just kind of like half stripped in there, but the short, so we'll be able to get them out. So they're short, but can't unscrew them. Got a screw gun here. Can't do it. Just uh, like I say, I'll just unscrew, pry what I can off, cut what I can, pry what I can. There's lots of uh, scrap metal here. I'll just show you a couple sinks. There's all sorts. There's a car, even car, like a water pump for some car and some other stuff here. Looks like a Ford. Um, things what I found with them, so I'm thinking it's a Ford car. Scrap metal is all going to be scrap. The doors we're going to save and they may incorporate it in the design of the doors because the doors itself, this whole building are old. It's all the same looking doors. So we'll see. There's every nook and cranny there's something here metal everywhere let's grab that one let's grab it let's 
Just gonna throw some metal here. I gotta first dump the garbage. The other guy's just taking a break right now. The windows are gonna be changed anyway, so all the stuff's garbage. It's all gonna go to garbage. Recycle aluminum. Okay. I'll strip a little more here and uh, come back to later. Okay, here's uh, the old... These are all the inserts that one of those old fireplaces I had on the other video I did. They almost look like they're, they might be brass or plated, I'm not sure. Looks like copper here and it looks like brass edges, but... I have to get investigate a bit. But all this is going to go... There's one, there's six, eight, and nine. All this is going to go. All the appliances and everything is going to. We have the sink here. The corner posts are going to be put in aside for now. They're going to be saved. Either saved or sold or whatever, but they'll be saved. Okay, I'll show you more when we're done this section we're here. We're on Mitchell Island right now. We're going to dro drop this uh, garbage off in that uh, boil area. Got probably uh, almost three quarters of load, I guess. So a fair amount of stuff there. It was amazing how, how they had it all packed in there, and every nook and cranny was taken. There was like, you know, bags of old cement that was hard and grout, and just a bunch of, you know, how these landlords, when they repair stuff, they keep a million things, you know, like washers and nuts and screws and just different things that, like a toilet seat broken or a lid or. A toilet uh, tank lid, you know, keeping extras of this, extras of those. But, anyways, we threw it all away. Basically, I'm gonna salvage all that metal. Uh, there's lots of appliances in these last, next couple jobs. I got here, there's a lot of appliances. There's six appliances waiting for me at uh, one of the jobs downhill from where that job is. And then there's probably half a dozen or more, at least half a dozen, probably a dozen in a building I'm working at. A lot of material that's for sure okay, so we're just approaching the dump site right now just around the corner here it's open until six you gotta dump your garbage it says seven till seven but that's holiday hours unless they change it I don't think so but What kind of weight I have here? Looks like 6,800, maybe. Oh, they gave me that extra 10 now. 6,810. That's kilograms. Yeah, I just gotta see where they're gonna signal me to go. I'd say the middle one probably. The middle one? So it'll be the middle one. Some people throw a little bit of drywall away so they have to separate the drywall. Which you're not supposed to take drywall here, but some guys sleep the odd new board and you know stuff that's you do new construction. Gotta get ready to back up, so stand by. your door here so it's kind of good helps you out they got an excavator inside there crunching all the material up then they uh, either send it out or they grind it up dump
in over there. Let me just stop. Taking whatever cardboard and crap away, I guess. Plastics. Whatever they can recycle, I guess. Metal if they find any metal, but probably doubt that. Any clean lumber, they'll separate the lumber. That's how they make the money, is they have to uh, recycle everything. It was 68.10. Let's see what it is empty now. Well, I guess you don't can't see the outside weight yet. So basically, it was $177 for dumping. And it's 130 a ton over there. So it was just uh, maybe a ton and a quarter, probably. Metric. I mean, almost a ton and a half uh, net, if you say, I guess. It's a scrap yard right here, uh, Allied Salvage Metals. They've been there for a long time. A lot of scrap in that one there. It's actually an Asian one right over in the corner. And they get the allied there's two that i know for sure here but there's probably a few more that are hidden that i don't i don't normally drive but you never know but they, they got a big pile of shred here you can see their pile right here if you look right there it's a huge pile of shred look at that it's the mountain the mountain stuff nothing like snitzer snitzer is the big they're the king they're the biggest on the west coast or west coast of uh, bc anyways but also, ABC is pretty big. I'm, I don't think they're as big as Snitzer. Snitzer's worldwide. They go every, they're everywhere, all around the world. But ABC, I think, is pretty big too. But nothing like uh, Snitzer. Anyways, we're gonna cut it short because I got a lot of filming to do still. Uh, gotta go back there, clean that uh, boiler area. I gotta pick up four or six appliances on a job down the road, and then after that, I gotta take out the fridge and all the metal for the boiler also. And then there'll be, I uh, should have a full load of metal there at least. Okay, stay tuned. Start the appliances right now. Keep going. Uh, we had to take the door off the one in the boiler room. Barely got it through. We so uh, tight there, but got it. So we're gonna. Yeah. yeah. It's old school ones are heavy, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. There. Full of gold. I left my gloves here, Phil. Yeah, those are not yeah. my gloves. Those are my pair of gloves. Don't go to the hallway. Oh, no, not no. I didn't put them there. I didn't put them there. So did that purpose. They go slow, watch the, watch the concrete there. Yeah. Push it in the down. Just leave it on the other side of the tree there. Use an appliance here. We're going to throw everything in there so that anything that has to be taken apart. Yeah, right on this side of the tree. This side of the tree. Okay, yeah, that's what we have so far. Three fridges, a dishwasher, a bed spring. Down, down, down. Put, put right here. I want it here. Not on the sidewalk. Okay. Yeah, but this one goes in last. Watch out, man. Joe. You're doing okay, let it down. Just let it down. You guys can yeah. just jimmy it in. There we go. Okay, move the dolly and slide it just off the curb. Okay. Off the sidewalk. Yeah, okay, good. Get the dolly. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we we'll go to uh, another unit here. My stomach is making whale We'll go up here. You like the puppy? 
Okay, just gotta see what kind of fridge is here. Okay, this will go. These two go for sure. Okay, these two go for sure. We'll grab these two. Okay, stand by. Okay, so we're gonna travel down here this way. Okay, two flights of stairs are gonna go down. Okay, this one we're done in this suit for now. Backwards. Okay, we'll figure it out the other way. Oh, you can carry that way. So you can go for like that. Yeah. Or something. You can carry those around the feet or something. Oh well, yeah, it's the fridge is sitting on, on the, the tire. Oh. Okay. Well, no, okay, turn around because the door is lower. Okay. Yeah, turn around because yeah. it's gonna fall off that way. No, because the door is actually lower and it's hitting yeah. the tire. Yeah. It yeah, it's the way the dolly's built. It's a cheap rented dolly. It's you home. So a cheap rented dolly. Okay. Take it back? No, I don't want to take it back. It's garbage. People We've had it for three years. People left it behind somewhere. Yeah. It's junk. We've had it for three years, man. Oh, shit. Okay, let's do your thing. Do you think? Yes, I will. Come no, okay. no, no cussing. One more time, so. Don't twist it. Yeah, these old easy. school fridges are pretty heavy. They're not like the today I'm ones, sir. Uh, this one's probably about 30 years, 30 years old, so it's pretty heavy. You know what's going to happen to me? I'm going to twist my back right out. Okay, well, don't twist yourself. Straight as an arrow. Yep, one sec. Yeah, straight as an arrow. Okay. Straight as an arrow. Okay, now we have one long stair, stair down there, and that's it. Okay. One more stair. So all appliances there, and all this is just like. You know, you have to take out the boxes. I'm going to separate it. There's some copper mixed in brass and different things, but uh, tomorrow I'll separate it and maybe uh, I might take one stove, the wiring, but the rest is all fridges. So that's done there. I'll show you the, the boiler area in a minute. So the boiler clean. This is what we're going to do for the owner. Uh, these are the sh things here. We're, uh, we're going to take them for sure. It's just right now. They're kind of really cool looking, but... It may, may be scrapped, hard to say, but every every unit has them in the fake fireplaces, so we may keep them. If not, it'd be scrap life. I, I just have no room in my truck at the moment, and it's not in, really in the way. Okay, so basically, that's clean. All the boiler, right around the boiler is clean. No issues. I see we left a few light bulbs up there, but we'll have to get to them. Problem is there's so much shit everywhere here and you just don't know where to go. You know, look even this stuff here, I didn't even see this stuff. Right, there's just stuff hidden. You know, ball bearings and nuts and washers and just things that outdated tools and usually the landlords are like that. They collect everything and this landlord owned this building with 78, I believe. Since 1978, so you can see the. This was not too bad. I've seen worse, but the lockers are bad. I see all the landlord's lockers are full. Just a truckload of uh, material and lockers to take take for garbage wise. Okay, that's it. This is it for now. Paint cans. We did uh, a ton and a quarter, a ton and a half of garbage. Now we got uh, at least a ton of metal, I would think, out of this building, and there's still lots to go. Okay.